and I need to finish up grading probably on Wednesday, but I should probably do some on Monday as well. It is my least favorite thing about teaching. I think a lot of teachers would agree with that. Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today it is time to do another teacher lesson planner plan with me. So we're going to be setting up a spread here in my EC uh, 7x9 focused planner. We're also going to be switching out the cover, adding in my lesson plans, decorating a little bit, all the things. So let's go through supplies here and then we will jump right into it. So like I said, this is my 7x9 focused planner from EC. I've got a couple of covers here that I am debating which one I want to use, but I'm leaning toward this one since it is Black American History Month, and I just love this one. It just kind of reminds me every time I see it to keep my heart open, you know? But I do love this one as well, and I'll probably put it on my, like, memory planner. And then we've got my little binder with all of my stickers. I stick to a, like, theme, color theme in here, so all of my spreads look different, but, like, in the same vein, if that makes sense. Here are my lesson plans. I have printed them out in 114% on my template, which is imperfect for sure, but I have it linked down below. So I like to keep track of my plans and then I like to link all of my assignments and just have all of the materials listed. So I made two copies, not really sure why, but I have two in case I mess one up. This is the washi I'm gonna be using this week. It is super cute from Coffee Monsters Co. It has silver foil on it and it just is so cute. And I think I'm gonna blend some of this with some stickers in here that just kind of like are speaking to me. I just think these are so cute from Alicia Michelle XO. And then I've got markers, of course, in my little Moxie Life pouch here. And I believe I will be going with gray this week. I think I'll use the Tombow. And just want to keep it a little bit monochromatic just because I need to mix it up. I've been doing a lot of color, especially like in December, and I would just want to kind of keep it simple. Okay, so let's go through my planner and I'll just show you like January spreads and some things that I've updated. So this is all up to date. And then I've got, of course, my yearly calendar, which I always look back at like every month. This is my highlights page, which is really nice to have. I just filled in January since we just finished that one. And then we're going to go straight to January. So the last time that we spent time in here together was when I set up a spread in January. So here are my January spreads. I love this one. I just love all the colors. It's so cute. This one too. Very pretty. And this what that's the same washi I'm going to be using today. It is super cute. And then this spread is also really cute. We had a snow day and then like a late start. So this week got all messed up, but it turned out okay. And I love the little like torn pieces here. And then in February, my monthly is still a mess. Here is last week. So very like pink and cute. I'm not a pink person, but I feel like in February, I can kind of lean into the pink, you know? So this is the week that we're going to be working with. This is February 6th through the 10th. And we actually have a professional development day on the 10th. And then we have a day off on that Monday as well. Like the kids get a four day weekend. We get a three day weekend. I'm not complaining because it's nice to have a little break in February. And it just kind of breaks up the month because it can get a little tedious at times. <laughs> kind of like October, like February and October for some reason, always the hardest. Okay, so the way that I usually do these little plan with me's is I'm gonna set up the spread for the week. You get to see like my process. The first thing that we need to do is just lay down the base and then we'll work on this side and then this side. So I'm gonna use my Tombow to create some little headers. You can do your headers like however you want, but this side I like to do my lesson plans. So I just go across like that and then I'm just gonna highlight that. And then I've got one here, 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 and here. And we'll let that dry for a second and then I will write in the names of my headers. I'm gonna lay down some washi over here since we don't have school and I just wanna like block this out. I like the torn look, so I tend to go with that, especially in this planner. And then we'll add in some more a little bit later. Okay, let me write in my headers. So this one is lesson plans. 
And then this side has like more specific ones. So this one is coaching for my instructional coaching stuff. This is like events, things that are going on around the school. This one is notes. And this one is to do's. Now let's go back to this side and go ahead and get this side set up. So first thing is I'm gonna take my lesson plans. I'm gonna cut out like the excess stuff that I don't need. So I really just need these first four boxes and my materials and stuff. Okay, so I always forget to bring my glue stick home. So we're gonna use some of this Tombow adhesive tape. I always use this with my memory planning, so it's fine. When I get to school, I will like tack down the corners because they tend to like, you know, pick up, but it'll be fine until Monday when I get to school. I should really like keep one here, but do not even think about it ever. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna line this up in the middle here. We're doing a DBQ this week and it's gonna be an easy one. So on this side of my planner, I need to mark a few things. So first of all, it is the end of the six weeks and we have to have our grades posted on Thursday morning. So I'm going to just use one of these. Actually, I wanna kinda of stick, no, it's all right, it's fine. I'm gonna use pink and purple this week, I think. So our grades need to be posted this day. And since it's Coffee Monsters Co. Washi, I'm gonna be using Coffee Monsters Co. this week. These are so cute. Okay, so I think I'll use, <laughs> these are always funny. Um, I think this one with the little laptop and the coffee is perfect. I'm gonna keep these out though because I'm probably gonna use some more of them. Um, and then Friday we have to turn in our grade folder. Actually, I'm gonna pull this up and put that in because I do not wanna forget turning that in. So I'm just gonna use a more simple label, like a thinner one. And I'm gonna use this one with a little folder. Our registrar slash like grade book person. She loves things in a particular way. And I need to finish up grading probably on Wednesday, but I should probably do some on Monday as well. It is my least favorite thing about teaching. I think a lot of teachers would agree with that. Um, I also need to do like some lesson plans. I'm probably gonna, I usually do it on Wednesday, but I think I'm gonna do it Tuesday because it's gonna be a busy week and Google Classroom prep. Okay, I think that's everything for this side. For right now, we'll add a little bit of decoration in a minute. So let's go to this side, which is like the messy side. There's a lot going on this week since it is like the end of the grading period. So no like firm meetings besides like leadership meetings. So let me put those in first. I use these all the time. So we have two different types of leadership teams. I'm on both of them. So those are SALT and TILT. The principal loves those acronyms. Okay, other coaching stuff. Okay, so I need to respond to some reflections because people are gonna be turning those in. They reflect on their goals and I respond to them. So I'm gonna put that on like every day. I kind of slacked off last six weeks, so I need to get back on it this six weeks. Okay, on Monday, I need to send out some info on our CCMR classes. We're also doing a fire drill on Monday and like a reconciliation kind of thing where they like, the teachers have to, um, they have to like fill out some paperwork. And so I need to make sure like some of the newbies figure out how to do that. So I think we're gonna use another one of these, like this one, actually this one, cause it's funny. So I'm gonna put that in here. We only have to do it twice a year, but it's nice to have. On a Tuesday, some of the GT kids are gonna go over and play chess with the elementary. I just need to make sure that they get over there. They love playing chess with the kids so much. So I think we're gonna use one of these that says be kind, it's so cute. I just need to like round them up send them over there. Okay, and on Wednesday, it's my friend Chantel's birthday. Grab one of these gray ones just to mix it up a little bit. She's actually gonna be gone to Disney. Like her and her like grandkids and her daughter and her husband are all going. And I'm gonna grab a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker for that. I just wanna remember to like text her. And then there's just like some sports stuff happening that I wanna mark in just so I remember in case my kids are gone. And then I need to mark in a professional development day as well. And I think I will use, I'm gonna use one of these, these third boxes. And then let's grab 
How about one of these? Because they make me laugh. Little angry meeting ones. The good thing is we usually get out at like two o'clock those days, which is nice because we get like a little chance to get to town and do errands and stuff. Okay, so let's talk about school events. We've got wrestling and basketball happening. It's the last few basketball games, I think. Maybe there's a couple next week, but we're getting close to the end of that season, which is kind of nice because they're gone all the time. I'm going to use these little um, shoes for wrestling. I don't know what else to use for them. This is the only option I had, so we're going to go with it. So basketball is Tuesday and they're Friday, I think. Yes. We also have FCCLA gone, so I'm going to grab a sticker for that as well. We've got wrestling on Friday. I'm going to put these in the notes just to kind of keep them together. We had district wrestling like this weekend, and our kids did really well. There's several of them that are going to regionals, which is really cool. And then I think the week after, we're starting baseball and tennis and then track a little after that. Okay, let me grab like a cooking sticker for FCCLA because it's like all of the culinary kids. Okay, I found this one from Coffee Monsters Co. They're so small, like it's kind of hard to see, but the culinary kids are gone Thursday and Friday. I think they're leaving on Wednesday afternoon, but we're just going to go ahead and mark Thursday and Friday. And I think I'll use like a half box and then do it vertically. Okay, I think that is everything for right now when it comes to like events and stuff. Now let's do just a little bit of decorating because I love that in this planner. I don't like to go like too much into it, but I think it's fun to add a little bit of you know, decoration. Okay, so we've got washi, we've got this sticker sheet, and then I, have got, I just found, like, on my desk, I've got some stickers that I'm using in my everyday planner right now, and these are, like, too big to use in there, so I think I'll use this for my quote sticker for this week, because it feels good since it's the end of the six weeks, and people tend to get a little stress. I'm fine. I'm just being dramatic. It's what I do. So where are we going to put this? Okay. I think, like, right here, so good. And then just to kind of block off this corner a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit more washi and then maybe a little bit here. Cute. Okay. And then I've got these, which are adorable. Just adding in a little bit. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for now because I know that this week will fill up with different things, but I'm hoping to add in a little bit more little decoration. I think this is super cute. I love like the pink and the purple theme that I'm going for this week with the gray. It's cute. I like it a lot. Okay, I think this week is ready to go for the last week of the fourth six weeks, which is crazy. We are two-thirds through the school year, which is wild, but I love it. Um, I'm kind of ready for a little bit of a break, you know, with March, go wild, spring break, all the things, but it's been a good year so far, and hopefully the next third of the year will go fast, just like these two have. All right. I think that's everything. Hope that you enjoyed this video watching me put together a spread. If you want to see like finished spreads, I usually post them on my Instagram stories, but I do fill up throughs as well. So check those out if you would like to see that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I will see you next time. Bye!